Do I look like a man that can dance to you? If you said no to that, you're dead to me. I've wanted to be good at dancing for a long time. I even told a couple stories from back in my old high school days where I tried to teach myself to break dance and do head spins to try and impress women to catastrophic failure every single time and just embarrassed myself even further. But it's always been something I've wanted to do ever since I was a kid. And I thought to myself, if I don't do it now, I never will be able to, because I'm not getting any younger. Unless I collect all the Dragon Balls and make a wish for eternal youth, this is as young as I will ever be from this point forward. And I've already got some glass bones and paper skin that I'm working with here, and this shit's turning to dust. So, we've, we're, we're on the clock right now, in a race against time. So, I got the gang together, and... We found a very good dance instructor, the same dance instructor who actually choreographed the um, Gentlemen Let You Down routine, my ballet routine that I broke out in front of a live audience for that music video. Check it out if you haven't seen it. It was a beautiful performance, but I hope you're ready to cry. I hope you have a tissue box nearby for that one. So we brought him back in order to teach us something we all wanted to learn, which was shuffling and just general footwork. All of us have been going to clubs more often together, and we thought it would be fun just to be fucking spectacular at shuffling. So that way, like, if a circle forms at the club, we could just go hog wild in there. I already do, like, a bunch of, like, body wave type shit, like, you know, all that kind of wiggling stuff. So I knew if I could integrate shuffling into my routine, my repertoire, I would be the top of the food chain. So, we, we got together and <laughs> we began to learn. Let's show you how some of this went. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is running man. Yep. So we'll do at least four variations. Probably running man, T-step, Charleston, and then we'll, we'll try to get into kickbacks also, okay. which kickbacks are like a remix of the running man. Cool. So let's start with running man first. You guys have seen this since MC Hammer and Vanilla Ice videos, so it's nothing new, right? But usually people use their arms. The only thing with shuffling is we can kind of be chill or do with whatever we want with our hands. So first thing you do is put your right foot in front. Then be like right foot on one, but in shuffle terminology and shuffle, shuffle timing, our and we would bring our left knee up. Good, and then we would switch. So our left foot would be two. Good, so obviously our right foot is all odds, left foot is, are even, so let's start that again. And then no, to answer terminology, I always say five, six, seven, eight before we start. Five, six, seven, eight, we start one. Five, six, seven, eight, we start one. I think somebody out there knows that. So we're gonna go from the top, so we go five, really slow. Six, seven, Eight right foot goes one, then switch, and left foot, good. Then two, then and. Now three, and four, and faster. Five, and six, and seven, and I'm eight. Yes, myself. we're getting there. There he goes, oh, shoes are coming off. Yeah. It's getting real now. I'm no stranger to the running man here. This one I kind of knew a little bit before starting, so it was a bit smoother for me. It's still not perfect, but that didn't look bad, right? That looked like something you'd see at the club and be like, oh, that guy at least is competent. He knows what he's doing. He doesn't look like a fucking downright fool. So it felt pretty nice. Now, Chase, Aaron, and Matt had never, like, done it before, but, you know, I was looking pretty good overall from the gang here. We looked like a pretty good dance troupe. Matt's <laughs> running man looked a bit more... Soviet march than shuffling, but that's just part of the learning process. So overall, I'm happy with where we're at from the starting position. It's been about a week since there, since this, and I think all of us have gotten significantly better, especially me. I'm ready to start busting this out pretty often at the club. However, the next variations that we learned, I'm not too confident in yet. But what I am confident in is Opera GX, and I highly recommend checking it out. Big thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video. It's the best browser available. You've seen me sing its praises for years now, so to mix it up a little bit, Opera GX tossed me some interesting questions as part of their Q&A format press pause. The first one is, what is the first PC game I ever played and what drew me to it? And the answer is RuneScape. In fourth grade, everyone was playing RuneScape and I didn't want to be viewed as some kind of outcast weirdo who wasn't playing, so I hopped aboard the hype train and fell in love and never looked back. And then the second game was City of Heroes, which is actually my favorite game of all time. Another question that they wanted to ask me was, what is my fondest gaming memory? And I have two answers to this, one for my childhood fondest gaming memory and one for adulthood. As a child, my favorite gaming memory is actually...
Want to hear the conclusion to this burning question? Download Opera GX from the link in the description for exclusive access to this answer and tons of other features possible only through Opera GX and the GX Corner. Break the bad habit of basic browsers and get one made for you. As always, thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring. So Charleston is like all these moves, almost people sometimes put it with like Fosse back in the day, with like Broadway stuff. It's just happy, energetic. The point of that, we're gonna go right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Then we're gonna reverse it. Reverse left, left, right, left, right. Again, six, seven right foot goes. And step, and step, and now we switch. Good, twist your other foot in. Twist your other foot in. Now, ooh, the gotcha, gotcha. The remix, the hard part, is now bringing that outside foot and putting it back. Mm -hmm. And putting it back. So don't overthink about it. It's naturally gonna happen. You don't have to be thinking one and two. You're gonna feel crazy if you try to think about all that. And one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, keep going. Hey, let's go. Hey, yeah, the pants make it look better. Lincoln Park, hot topics. Oh, uh, Spencer, yeah. I, you and I, I feel like are doing the same thing with the legs, where he moves his legs that way and it looks really cool. Yeah, and then I move mine and it looks like I'm it's in a hospital. Better, though. <laughs> oh it's like, it's like spaghetti. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine feels like, like somnambulism when I'm doing it. <laughs> like what? Sleepwalking. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Somnambulism. It just occurred to me that you might need an explanation for why Matt and I are wearing those silly jeans. We did some Wish.com shopping and bought like some really old school, almost fi Final Fantasy character looking-esque jeans that we found there because we thought it fit the aesthetic to learning this. So that's why we're wearing that. Now the Charleston for some reason just wasn't really clicking in my little reptile brain. Like I know all the basics of it and I think I'm a little better at it now. And I know it's kind of become like a bit of a meme thanks to like a couple of videos that popped off from it. But for me, I can't like move while doing it yet. So this one, we're still workshopping. Also, I need to prep for shuffling, which is what I learned during the filming of this, because if I wear just my normal boxers, my nuts clap against my thighs like I'm trying to give a round of applause. It's brutal. So you'll see towards the end of this video, I'm just downright winded like every time I try because of that happening like a fucking pendulum and a grandfather clock downstairs. Now, someone who was really good at the Charleston is actually Chase. Chase nailed this. By the end of the day, Chase had this down like he was a fucking expert at it, but the rest of us were still working towards that level of glory. Also, huge thanks to Will, the dance instructor, for being so patient with us because I know some of these were pretty stiff on our end, but we were out there giving 110%. Let's do the T-step. You'll get it. I'll get it. Let's get do it. the T-step. We're about 20 minutes in, so let's do the T-step. It's weird that I don't know perfectly already. <laughs> It's great. Okay, so do me a favor, lift your left, left, left foot up. Cool. We're going to move our heel inside, heel, then our toe, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Very good. Switch the other side. Six, seven, eight, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Nice switch. That's one and two and three and four. And the thing that we're skipping is having our ands. We have nothing there right now. So we want to think about Think about actually these are on the these are on the ones think about your left foot tapping tap in tap in tap and I want to tap not behind me tap toe tap toe tap toe tap switch tap a uh hustle -huh. so when I switch tap toe tap toe tap toe tap right here I switch is just the same angle that I'm hitting here I switch good and then I got to go heel toe heel toe heel toe heel switch Will even told us that the T-step was going to be the most difficult one that we were going to learn, and he was right. None of us could really get this one super fluid. It's just very stiff and disjointed. It's like a rough animation in Maya that someone's working on but failing at. I still can't do it. Like, I can get, like, the movement going, but I can't, like, switch or use it from the running man or anything. So that one is, again, something that needs 
further like testing and experimentation before I really start to unveil that one publicly. D, 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 D. Nice, Charlie. Now, when you get that, on the second one that you go out on, you gotta lean your upper body back. So I'm going center and back. Center and back. Center and, uh-huh. Center and back. Yes, center and, hey, center and, yeah! That's it, that's it, that's it. Thank you, that's it, I like that one. Right and lean, left and lean. Right and lean, hey, left and, that's a lean for your ass right there. Yeah! Well, guy turned a little red on the lean. I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna turn a little purple on the lane, you turn a little red. Yeah, yeah it's true, I got that Joe Biden complexion. <laughs> <laughs> Our Irish oh. blood is pumping. <laughs> you and Joe have so much in common. Yeah. How much? But he ain't sleepy today, baby. Yeah. That one was pretty simple. That one wasn't super deep. Of course, it wasn't perfect right there when we were learning it, but I've gotten a lot better at it now. That's just one that's kind of a filler move for shuffling, from what I understand. Aaron, while learning it though, when I watched the footage back, I didn't realize like how hard he was going. When he'd lean back, it looked like he got into a car accident and was like <laughs> suffering from whiplash. That really was a lean for your ass there from Aaron on that. I haven't seen him use this recently, this anime finishing move, so I don't know what his double back or, or whatever it was called is looking like today, but I bet it's extraordinary. us trying to put everything together and you know for our first hour of learning all of this ever really not too bad like you can't be upset about <laughs> the progress there over the course of an hour you know it's building blocks and when it comes to this you got to just keep practicing practice makes perfect as they say and I, I don't know about the rest of the boys, but I have been practicing in another month. Don't be surprised if you see me in some viral TikToks showcasing this shuffling talent. It, like, I'll just be going fucking ballistic to a song that has no right to be accompanied by outrageous shuffling. Like, I'll be busting all of this out to Imagine Dragons or something on the dance floor. Just mark my words. Be prepared. This was just a freestyle, just take everything you learned and just get wacky with it and add whatever you want to it. Aaron's had me laughing so hard because he busts out like this Irish river dance maneuver in the middle of it. I don't know where it came from. He just, you know, channeled like an ancient, <laughs> an ancient dancing spirit that possessed him and took over, took control. And it was a thing of beauty. But yeah, overall, just a lot of fun. One of Matt's signature moves that didn't make the final cut of the, of the video here, I think probably because the music was copyright when he busted it out, was he did the old classic Dumbledore disappearing via Phoenix. That's how he would finish his routine, which I think is just a banger way of concluding it. Like, I can already see that going really well in a club environment. He's hitting the running man, he goes into the T-step, into the backstep combo, the Charleston, and then he finishes, bang, Dumbledore disappearing with the Phoenix. And the crowd goes wild. I can already just picture it. But yeah, like I said, and I mentioned this on stream, I'm wanting to just kind of learn everything I thought would be cool when I was young or just learn a bunch of skills that I've always wanted to learn. So dancing has definitely been one of them. Shuffling in particular was one. I also want to learn like real break dancing. I do want to try and finally learn how to do like air flares, windmills, maybe head spins. I'm not really sure. 
but like the breakdancing fundamentals I, I just want to start banging out these like side quest things that I've always wanted to do and another thing like I mentioned the other day is trying to get a perfect game in bowling I've been practicing bowling a lot now too it's just a lot of fun just being able to do silly things and get you know try and get good at them so yeah just wanted to show this and talk about it a bit that's it so yeah